Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl, Laasia. I have so much anxiety right now. And that's because I'm finally going to get a haircut. I have not had a haircut by anyone other than Mo throughout my entire natural hair journey. So it's been about five years and now I moved and it's just time that I find someone that's gonna be more local and more accessible to me for when I need my hair cut. So I've done lots and lots of research and looked at a bunch of different salons and different stylists who cut curly hair, natural hair, you know, all the things. And I settled on someone in this salon specifically and hopefully I'm going to be extremely satisfied with my hair at the end of this. I have not had my hair cut since March pre lockdown quarantine during the whole pandemic. So it's December now. Long overdue. But yeah, my appointment is at three. It's like two o'clock now. So I'm trying to like just get myself together so that I can go. The salon is actually fairly close to me, which is nice. And yeah, I'm freaking out, but <sighs> y'all, I'm freaking out. But yeah, so when I get out of the salon, I'll show you guys what my hair is looking like. I don't know if I'm going to vlog while there because obviously it's like a pandemic, you know, we're going to be wearing masks and it just may not be the easiest thing to do. So if I can, I'll get some footage. If I can't, then I'll just fill you guys in when I'm done, which was going to happen anyway. In my last video, you guys already saw, I was showing you guys all the sun damage that I have and the super split ends and I have so many single strand knots so I'm just happy that this day is finally here because my hair is bad y'all like it's really bad so yeah I am babbling because I'm nervous and I'm freaking out and my pits are starting to sweat because that anxiety is heavy okay it's heavy but let me go because I don't want to be late and I will check you guys when I'm done <laughs> all right hey y'all I'm back from my appointment, but here we are. So let me try to fix it, cause now it's, it definitely looks cuter when she first finished cutting it because you got to see it like really shaped. So I'm trying to like, so this is how it's looking, big fro. And I feel like my ends look so, healthy now like it just feels very fresh and i don't have those raggedy straggly ends and um yeah it feels good and yeah so i just wanted to show you guys because i felt bad that i didn't get any footage at the salon but it's just not the easiest thing to do like i got the cape on i'm telling you if i live throughout the 70s living my best afro life like i'm i'm for it i'm all for it i'm sure there'll be a part two or some kind of continuation to this video or it's just going to be a super short video i don't know what this video is i'll see y'all when i see y'all maybe it's going to be this video or maybe it's going to be another video i don't even know i don't know i'm just going with the flow all right gotta go <laughs> hey y'all so i'm back i just wanted to jump on here really quickly to show you guys what my hair looks like after my cut but now that it's been styled from the last clip i got on here right after coming out the salon and my hair was looking crazy and it was drying up and it was like a big fro but i wanted to show you that because it was like a real moment of how i left the salon so this is my hair and this is my first time doing a wash and go since my cut and i wanted to show it off so you guys can kind of see i hope having this jacket is not i feel like having a jacket on is not really allowing you to see it but yeah so this is my cut so the salon that i went to is called salon ciso salon ciso i'm gonna enter the name on the screen because i definitely think i'm butchering the name but i went to the stylist arlene who's also one of the owners of the salon so she was really sweet very knowledgeable very kind you know we chatted up about like my hair and what i was in there for and what i was looking to leave with and you know all the standard kind of hair appointments and how you kind of talk to your stylist like 
all the normal stuff. What I wanted was to get my hair cut while wet. And in the past, I've always gotten my hair cut in round layers. So I did express that to her that I was in there just simply for a regular haircut, something that's gonna clip away all these dead raggedy ends and then kind of shape me up just a little bit but in that round layers kind of look because that's what I'm used to getting my hair cut like and I actually like that and I didn't want to venture out or change it. I just kind of like this more rounded shape where I get a little height on top, but it's kind of rounded. Like this is just what I like, what I'm used to and just kind of what I wanted to stick to. I didn't go in getting any kind of curly cut, no diva cut, which usually is the process of cutting your hair while it's dry in its curly state and you kind of go in and clean up the ends. That's not what I did. I've actually never had my hair cut like that. So again, I didn't want to try anything new, anything different. I am a creature of habit. And when things work, I like to stay with it. So that's what I did. And then I didn't want my hair styled. I don't need anybody to style my hair in a wash and go or twist out or none of that because I know how to do that myself. I don't need to pay anyone to do it. Honestly, I was in and out of that salon so fast. I've never had a hair appointment that was as quick as that was. Like, I probably was in there for like an hour. Maybe not even, maybe 45 minutes. No, probably like an hour, I'll say an hour. So yeah, overall, I'm very happy with the way my hair looks. This is a little wash and go that I did. My curls feel more springy because those dead ends aren't weighing it down. So I love it, my hair feels like my hair. It feels like what I'm used to my hair feeling like and I miss my hair feeling like this because it's been a long time. As far as in that like sun damage, obviously the sun has oxidized my hair. Definitely doesn't look as bad because a lot of it was kind of trimmed off with that cut so that's good but yeah there's still some like really light blondish pieces in there but it is what it is it'll grow out i do know that in the past i wasn't getting haircuts very frequent probably going every six months which i feel like is kind of pushing the limit of getting a haircut to where i was allowing my hair to get a little more raggedy than I needed to. So I think going forward, since I'm on a healthier hair journey, once again, I think I want to get my hair cut maybe every four months. And now I have somewhere to go, which I actually didn't even talk about that with the stylist on like what she recommends. I didn't even ask her, but I just decided I need to make the executive decision over my hair and say that I need to get my hair cut a little more frequently. And when I think about it, when my hair was relaxed, I was relaxing my hair every 12 weeks. I was getting a haircut every time I relaxed my hair. So now that I have curly hair, I'm like, why am I waiting so long to get my hair cut? I wanna try it out and see how much of a difference it will make in my hair, and we will see, so. But yeah, so I'll link the salon in the description box. Not for nothing, the salon seems very underrated when it comes to cutting curly hair because I have looked into other women who are like specialized in the curly cut and they're just much bigger and have a bigger following, which is always enticing when you see that. You're like, ooh, you trust that? Um, and I felt like that at first. I was like, oh, this woman, you know, she's cutting curly hair so much she has you know a decent following on instagram and all these pictures of all these curly headed girls and you do feel like ooh, that makes you want to trust it but so many of them were only doing curly cuts and i didn't want a curly cut so i did end up choosing a salon that if you go to their instagram you know it's very underrated they don't have a bunch of followers they don't have all of that so you know, however that sways your decision. Um, I put a lot of thought into it and I just felt like once I called and figured out that they'd be able to cut my hair the way I wanted it cut, I was like, you know what? So that's pretty much all I have for this video. I hope I address everything that needed to be addressed. If you do have any other questions regarding like the salon, the stylist, my hair, whatever, y'all already know 
drop the comments down below i'm always in the comment section responding to you guys thank you guys so much for always tuning in thank you for being loyal um i hope y'all noticed that your girl been kind of dropping some content a little frequently i don't want to say she back but no but thank you guys so much for always supporting and tuning in and all the love that you show and i'll just see you guys in my next upload